Hi, this is Zach from Ever. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily install the Ever in-wall relay switch in a three-way control scenario. Let's dig in. First of all, let me introduce the product. The Ever in-wall relay switch is a two-part product. Here we have the smart relay, and here we have the smart switch subassembly. For the smart relay, this is installed near the light or light fixture itself. It supports almost any type of light bulb, incandescent, halogen, LED, you name it. There is no minimum load requirement, and once installed, your lights will be 100% flicker free. Then, for the smart switch subassembly, this installs near the mechanical switch for the light itself. It's incredibly small, incredibly compact, needs no neutral wire for installation. Two of these can fit in almost any electrical box, which means this supports up to four gang wall switches. Although this is a two-part product, you don't necessarily have to install the smart switch subassembly if you don't plan on using the mechanical light switch to control your lights. However, we do still recommend installing this because by installing it, you ensure that the smart relay in the lighting fixture always is delivered power, which means even if you accidentally turn the mechanical light switch off, you can still control the smart relay over Wi-Fi. The Ever in-wall relay switch is also a hardwired solution, which means even if your internet or Wi-Fi completely cuts out, you can still control your lights using the mechanical light switches. Now let's take a look inside these boxes. We'll start with the smart relay. When we open this box, we will first find a small mounting screw, followed by the smart relay itself. At the bottom, we'll find an instruction manual, as well as a double-sided foam pad. For the smart switch subassembly, when we open this up, we will first find two panel connector wires, followed by the smart switch subassembly itself, and at the bottom, the instruction manual. You'll notice that the smart switch subassembly does not have a separate foam pad. That is because we already have one installed on the back. Ever offers different HomeKit, Zigbee, and Z-Wave versions of the in-wall relay switch system. Here we need two smart switch subassemblies and one smart relay. In this demonstration, we will be using the HomeKit version of the Ever in-wall relay switch system. First, a word of caution. These devices should only be installed by a qualified and licensed electrician. Please make sure to follow all of your local guidelines and legislation for electrical installation. Also, before installing the in-wall relay switch, we must make sure that the power is off at the main breaker or electrical service panel. Also, let's prepare these three tools for later. Voltage tester, cable cutter, and screwdriver. Once we've confirmed that the power is off, we're ready to begin the installation. Note that you can install these in either order, it doesn't really matter, but for this demonstration, we will start by installing the smart switch subassembly. All right, the first step of this process is to find the so-called switch one of the three-way control system. In a standard three-way lighting control system, the two light switches will be wired slightly differently. If your country follows the European wiring standard, the light switch boxes will either have two black wires and one brown wire, aka switch one, or two black wires and one gray wire, aka switch two. Note that the standard color codes for these wires vary from region to region and country to country. We want to start with switch one. So remove the face plates from both of the light switches to determine which one has two black wires and one brown wire. This is switch one. The brown wire in switch one is the live wire and the other two black wires are travelers. If you are unsure about wire colors, here's a quick way to check. Look at the back of the light switch. The live wire is the one connected to the common terminal of the light switch, also sometimes marked as COM, C, H, or L. The other two wires are the travelers. Note here that it doesn't matter which traveler wire you use, either one of them will work. For the unused black traveler wire, we can cover the copper leads with tape and place it back into the electrical box unused. Now, disconnect the brown live wire from the light switch and connect it to the L connector at the top of the smart switch subassembly. Then connect either one of the two black traveler wires to the L1 connector of the smart switch subassembly. Then we can take one of the two small panel connector wires and insert it into the SW1 external switch jack on the smart switch subassembly. Then we can take the mechanical light switch we just removed from the wall in one hand and connect the small red or white wire of the panel connector 
to the L1 terminal on the light switch. Then connect the small black wire to the L terminal on the light switch. Now we are going to walk over to the other mechanical light switch, switch 2, and install another smart switch subassembly behind that one as well. Switch 2 has two black wires that are the same travelers that were in switch 1, and one gray wire. This gray wire is called the load wire, and it is originally connected to the common terminal of the light switch. The load wire runs out of the electrical box and to the light fixture. Now, we need to verify which of the two black traveler wires is the one connected to the smart switch subassembly at switch 1. To do this, carefully go back to the breaker and turn on the power. Then go back to switch 2 and, using a voltage tester, find which of the two black traveler wires always has a voltage. This is the one we need. Use something to mark it clearly. There is no voltage or current flow through the other black traveler wire. Then, once again, turn off the power to proceed. For the unused black traveler wire, we can cover the copper leads with tape and place it back into the electrical box unused. Connect the tagged black traveler wire to the L connector at the top of the smart switch subassembly, and connect the gray load wire to the L1 connector of the smart switch subassembly. Now, if you want four way or more control, you can install additional smart switch subassemblies in the same way. Next, we can take one of the two panel connector wires found in the box of the smart switch subassembly and insert it into the SW1 external switch control on the subassembly. Then we take in our hand the mechanical light switch that we just removed from the electrical box, find the small red or white wire, and connect it to the L1 terminal on the light switch. Then we find the small black wire and connect it to the L terminal on the light switch. All right. We have now completed the installation of the smart switch subassemblies and can put them all back into their respective electrical boxes. Then we can move on to the smart relay. We start by removing the cover of the light fixture as usual. Once open, detach the two wires that go into the light bulb. Find the live wire and connect that to the L terminal at the top of the smart relay. Then find the neutral wire and connect that to the first N terminal on the top of the smart relay. Fasten both of these screws. Then find the live wire from the light and connect that to the out terminal at the top of the smart relay. Finally, find the neutral wire from the light and connect that to the remaining in port on the top of the smart relay. Fasten those screws as well. Once you make sure the connections are good and the screws are tightened properly, Go ahead and use the double-sided tape included in the box to securely affix the smart relay in place. Then put the rest of your light fixture back. All right, now that we're done installing, we can safely turn on the power again at the breaker. If we did everything correctly, then when we flip the mechanical light switch, the light should turn on as well. All right, now we have completed the physical installation. The next step is to scan the respective QR codes to set up the smart relays on your network. To keep this video short, we have skipped demonstrating this in this video, but you can find an in-depth tutorial for adding the relay switch to Apple HomeKit in the video description below. For adding the Zigbee or Z-Wave versions of the Inwall relay switch to their respective networks, please follow the instructions provided with your Zigbee 3.0 or Z-Wave gateway. Now that we've installed everything and got the smart relay connected to our network, it's time to test. So we can test to make sure both of the mechanical light switches in the three-way control still operate the light. And we can also make sure that we can control the lights using our phone. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, even if both of the mechanical light switches are turned off, we can still access control of the light over the internet. That's it for this video. Now, it's time for you to start enjoying the ever in-wall relay switch in your home.